Hello, everyone. It's Deacon Joe again, uh, and happy Ash Wednesday to everyone. Uh, kind of sprung up kind of fast on me this year, and might have done that for you too. Um, but I just want to talk a little bit today about our Lenten penances that we do. Sometimes it can just seem like this is just another hoop that we have to jump through <laughs> that the church gives us that makes life really inconvenient and sometimes annoying. Um, but there's a real invitation they hear to grow deeper in our faith through our Lenten penances. By our Lenten penances, they're not about me just gritting my teeth and doing something hard and me earning my way to holiness. That's not what it's all about. The church invites us to make penances this Lent so that we can share, even if in a very small way, we can share some somehow in Christ's passion. We believe Christ's passion is infinite and transcendent, and it transcends all times and places. So even though we're very distant from Jesus and his death, not only geographically, but also chronologically, um, we can, by offering up our own little sacrifices and joining them to his sacrifice, we can share in his sacrifice. And that also means that we can, if we share in the glory in his sacrifice, that means that we can also hopefully share one day in the glory of his resurrection. And so this Lent, as we focus on making our Lenten penances and staying uh, consistent with them, let's remember that my Lenten penance is not all about me and what I'm doing. But our Lenten penance is an invitation to go deeper into our relation, relationship with Jesus. And it's chiefly about conforming my heart and my life to Jesus so that he can work in my life and do great things. Happy Lent, everybody.